they sent us this product to, to have a look at, to review and to criticize. And I'd like you to join me on my journey into this box and we can see what it uh, represents. Firstly, from the outside, you can see it's the Landbox HT Mini Chassis um, and it says Mini Chassis with Superb Multimedia. Uh, let's find out what that means. Looking at uh, the, the actual box itself, it's very glossy. It's got a woman lying on a bed watching TV from what looks to be the box with a LCD slipping out of it. So, uh, yeah, definitely something quite unique and interesting and it also has an LCD panel in the front of the box. Let's go in. Right. Okay, I first cut the tape so it was quite easy to open it up. Um, looking at the packaging, got a, a box here, I'm not really sure what this is. Let's have a look. Oh, we got a couple of batteries. And uh, this is probably your remote control, yeah. Very nice remote control. Um, with hundreds of buttons, with uh, lots of features. I couldn't begin to describe them all to you. But uh, yeah, we can get into that later. Okay, putting this away. Mm. So, the device seems to be very nicely packed. A lot of foam in here with a uh, special uh, cloth covering of the actual case so uh, it's protected if the cardboard should ever get damaged um, at least the the paintwork will never get chipped and so on um, how am I going to get this out? just slipped in the side here we've got a CD uh, some kind of media installation CD. I'm uh, supposing that that has something to do with the LCD screen and the uh, remote control which work together. We can have a look at that later. Wow, okay, that's very glossy, very pretty, and uh, very sleek. Um, on the box it said something about a piano coating, so I'm assuming that uh, there's some kind of special uh, paint layer on here that's, that's meant to be anti-chip and, and look very um, elegant in your lounge or living room. Um, let's have a look at the front panel because that's normally the most interesting part. Looking closely. Wow, very sleek, very elegant. Uh, you can notice that there are two bays here. Uh, these would be either for DVD drives or the, um, the LCD monitor, uh, which uh, can come with it. It's an optional extra. Um, it has some extra ports in the front panel too. One of those ports is a Firewire, two USB, uh, headset uh, for speaker and a microphone port as well. I'm not sure if this has any function, doesn't seem to. The LCD screen is very, very elegant. Um, seems to be chromed, uh, reflective, very, very nice. Uh, a lot of buttons here below it. I'm assuming these are for if you uh, should ever misplace your, your remote control. Um, just to list some of those buttons, what they're for. Volume down, volume up, mute, play, pause, stop, fast forward and rewind. Uh, going to the um, the right of the product here, you've got a reset button and uh, the power button and of course two LEDs. One is to show the hard drive working, the other is the on, on off uh, for power. Um, let's have a look at what other features are interesting and we can normally see those on the back. Looking at the back seems that it has a position for a standard uh, PSU, standard power supply. So you would put that in there. Um, it also has a lot of ventilation grills. Um, two standard six centimeter fans in the front. Just looking through, looking through here, I um, wonder if it has a fan in the, in the front of this device. I can't see one. But um, here this back panel fitting a, a standard micro ATX um, motherboard 
it would uh, fit inside. Let's uh, see if we can get further into the model and, and analyze it. Okay, so these two screws come out. And the other ones are not coming out so easily. Just down. Oh. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Just slips off. I have to say it's very heavy. Very, very solid structure. Um, definitely something robust. And you can see that there are a heck of a lot of wires and um, cables. You'll notice that um, all of them are leading to something. Um, in this case, uh, most of them are just shortcuts. So once you plug in your, your power supply unit, then you'll be able to, to plug it into the front panel. And from the front panel, you'll be able to plug into your motherboard. So uh, yeah, these conveniences are all part of the package and uh, they've taken it into consideration. Something to please remember is that this is a micro ATX platform. So as a micro ATX platform, you can only put a micro ATX motherboard in here. Okay, um, there's not much else to discuss really, excepting um, having a look again at what comes with this. I've got a very nice product and I'd like to open it with you. If you can just stand by for a few seconds. And that is this over here. It's called the embedded 7 inch monitor in a PC. Um, if you have a look closely onto the box, you'll notice that they've got that exact same case with this particular mon monitor mounted in the front panel. Um, normally you would find this kind of device in a um, motor car and the actual bay itself is standardized for a motor car so um, they've, they've done something special Thermatec have and I really recommend them for that uh, I wish the other guys would do something similar they've done something unique and they've taken this this DVD player and, and made it special let's have a look in the box and see more okay wow another remote control okay that's that's my first complaint and um, with two remote controls looking at both of them uh, they're both fairly complex uh, you probably already have a TV remote control you probably already have a video remote control CD remote control with these two extra remote controls your house can be chaos so um, if they designed a universal one that would be ideal so that's my recommendation to Thermaltech but uh, other than that, this this one in particular, very simple, and um, yeah, it doesn't have as much complexity as the one associated with the case. Standard mounting panel, um, CD that comes with it. I'm assuming this is uh, for um, XP because I was told that this would be an XP product. Uh, they will also have a launch for uh, the Vista product and uh, yeah we would like to test that one when it comes out too looking at the cables associated with the um, LCD panel we've got a standard um, DVI, DVI cable to DVI cable so it doesn't look like it's a you don't have a D sub uh, digital there um, what is this? There's some USB cables some yeah, some standard power cables for for the device. Opening it up further, let's remove the box. Again, nicely packaged. Ideal quality and um, perfect. You can have a look at the back of the device. You can see the, the VGA cable, or this is the VGA port for the cable. Um, you've got uh, video in, video out. Um, I don't know what you call them, ports, a USB port, the TV antenna position. It doesn't seem to have a TV antenna itself, so I'm assuming that you can buy one and uh, include it with it um, if you wanted to watch TV from this device. Um, and then, of course, it has the, the power point. Looking at the front, uh, not very special right now because obviously the LCD monitor is inserted inside. When you push the power on button, the LCD monitor comes out, follows my hand, and then stands upright, and then you can watch it. It's a 7-inch um, monitor, so 
measuring from corner to corner diagonally across at 7 inches. Um, we will come back again once we've set this up and uh, everything's working with it and you can see how it works. Thank you.